Hi everyone, I just wanted to go over the problem that we worked on yesterday. So remember we've been talking about exponential functions. We were talking about growth and then yesterday we introduced the idea of decay. So the scenario we had in the problem yesterday was that in order to control an algae bloom in a lake, scientists introduced some treatment products. Once the treatment begins, the area covered by algae A in square yards is given by the equation A equals 240 times one-third T raised to the T power. Time T is measured in weeks. So the situation is saying that there's algae in a lake. So algae is like that green stuff that you have on a lake and it's out of control. So the scientists are trying to treat it to get rid of it. So take a minute to think about if they're trying to get rid of the algae, do we think it would be a growth problem or would it be a decay problem? Are they adding more algae in or are they getting rid of the algae? Awesome. I agree that is a decay problem. So let's think about yesterday what we talked about that we had y equals a times b raised to the x power. x was our input, y was our output, or our dependent variable, and then b was our growth factor, and a was our starting value. So we can look at the equation that they gave us right here to help us answer the first problem. It says in the equation, what does 240 tell us about the algae? So if I'm looking up in this problem, 240 is taking the place of A. So we know that A is gonna be 240 in this equation. And that's the amount of algae after zero hours. Or something I like to say starting value The next problem we have is in the equation, what does one third tell us about the algae? So that one third took the place of B, which is our growth factor. Now the last problem right here kind of tricked some people. It said about how many square yards will the algae cover after 2.5 weeks? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna rewrite our equation. So we had A equals 240 times one third raised to the t power. Now we need to think about, if we're trying to figure out how many square yards algae will cover in 2.5 weeks, we need to think about where can we substitute this 2.5 weeks in for? Let's think about what did our variable a mean and what did our variable t mean? Well, our variable a meant our area. That seems like what we're trying to find how many square yards. Our t was our time in weeks. So we're gonna substitute our time in weeks with what we know, which is 2.5. So you have a equals 240 times one third raised to the 2.5 power. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. You're gonna have to use order of operations to first solve your exponent if you do not have a calculator that can do that for you. So right here, if we do one point or one divided by three raised to the 2.5 power, or one third raised to the 2.5 power, we would have 240 times 0 0.64. Then we would do times 240. And then we got area equals 15.39 yards squared. So that is your answer. All we did was we substituted in what we were knew from this problem and for the variable that it was equal to. And now our last problem that we're gonna work on is which of the following graphs could represent the given scenario? Maybe use Desmos if you're stuck. 
So let's think about, if we were to look at this right here, and right here is our time, let's think about, as time goes on, remember our algae is decaying. As time goes on, which one shows that the algae is decaying? It's getting decreasing. Would graph A show that the amount of algae is decreasing or would graph B show that the algae is decreasing? Awesome, I agree. Graph A shows that our algae is decreasing. The bonus we're going to skip because we're going to learn about that a little bit later. That was just a fun extension problem. Please let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, have a great day.